how the Dutch would make the right decisions. But if any president, that's their weakest point. There's always that bar. No, you can't. That's why Obama won. Yes, we can. He was talking about a black man yes. can. And he won. You know, we're afraid. If I tell you, I want to build an undersea, an undersea highway connecting, let's say, Bacolo to Cebu, or the Pasig, <coughs> or even just simply tell you I'll build 10 bridges across the Pasig River, so to alleviate traffic. You say, oh, we're going to do it But to a, China, to, a, to a Chinese from Hong Kong, to a New York, they built a tunnel underneath all of the Hudson River in in 1900s. They built the Panama Canal, the Suez Canal, a long time ago. Filipinos are always afraid to change and make new things. I've never been afraid of it. That's why I became the youngest delegate of the Constitutional Convention. I wanted a Bill of Duties and a Bill of Rights. You have the right to speak. You have the right to worship. You have the right to an education. But you have the duty. When you get educated, you do your best because you take taken somebody out of there. And if you take drugs, you're fooling around. The guy who wants to go to school cannot go to school. You have to have a Bill of Duties there coming their neighbor. That's what's important. So that's my fear. That's my weakness. Because we're going to go at breakneck speed. And when you go at breakneck speed, the world goes at breakneck speed. You send this phone to FedEx. It will go arrive there within 24 hours in New York. You know, I can text now. You know, the era of texting is about to be passe. You know, it's coming next. It's just like chat or why mail. Right? Why messaging? That's, it's, it's changing so fast. And here we are, still arguing about every new thing that we have to do. You know this is my answer to Gloria Macapagal? She has already shamed herself. I did not say that out of respect. Because I know she had to work, I think. She was really co-opted by the system. But I say, I'm not going to waste my time to go after them. Mr. Department of Justice, I want you to know I'm creating the Honesty Commission, the Truth Commission, and I want to give you six months. Finish or not finish, pass your papers. And if there are cases to be filed, you better make sure you get a good case. Because I have done my homework on CTE, I've done my homework on Jok Jok Bulante, I've done my homework on all ship sinkings. You know what's the problem with our country? Corruption kills people. They don't only steal from me. The bullets that are sold, one to one, that's corruption. It killed 56 people. The ships that sink, that's corruption. The guy who gets paid at the port without getting a manifesto, redesigning the ship by Sabiyesha and Ampera, allowing people to serve there without a license, that's corruption. It kills people. Education is deprived. It kills your future. Rather than spend the money on Kindle, on training the teacher, on building a school, would you, would you believe that number one education is not in bio? When you go to a public school, you're lucky here in Lasalle. We're lucky. We have the good, great schools. We've got comfort rooms. You know, you take that for granted. You go to a public school in Arn, there are 250 students to one toilet bowl. And I know from whence I speak. I've been in the Red Cross for 43 years. I've taken hostages from Abusha in Abu Sayyab country. I went up there. I know the pain of a rebel. He is a rebel because he wants a black. Nobody. He cannot bring his, his mangoes thing to the market. And along the way, if he can do that, there are checkpoints. He will get from him. And when he gets there, it's too expensive because there's a monopoly in transportation. If he gets there. And by the time he gets there, he's got nothing. So think about those things. We are living in an ivory tower here in Lasalle, in Atenea, and UP. We can say all the things that we do not want. But the reason why you have educated is because you're expected to fulfill your duty, to do the things that you do want. Can you do that? I have done that. He has done that. He went to Mapu, I went to UP and Atenea. I went to a public school, I went to Atenea, Latran, in my grade school, Latran, Lourdes, St. Teresa's, finally got to the Atenea. But you know, you've got to be prepared step on the plate 
take the responsibility. So some people, some presidents are honest. But if you put people around you that are foolish and st are stupid, you lock them up right away. I locked the policemen in I locked up more than 40 policemen who were slapping people around, getting money. And I told them, I told the, I told the whole community, they know me there. And they tell me, I tell them, hey, this policeman is, well, he volunteered to go to jail. I'm not filing a case against him. If he doesn't want to volunteer to jail, I'm going to file a case against him, and I will make sure he's removed. What would you rather have? Give him a chance. Lock him up. Right? I make sure I enable and enable the people here. Uh, Oh, Richard. Richard. Sorry. Uh, 12, number 12. Suing Bay. To maintain the highest level of integrity that is empowered by Trump to serve. I, I, I make people do things that they, they cannot do. He knows the 12 young orders in English and Tagalog. Panatilin ang pinakamataas na ang taas ng integridad at kagalingan na walang kapantay sa buong bansa. I just defined him. I just defined you, what I'm trying to say. Um, if, if both of you win... Um, when we vote, what about you? Um, when both of you win, um, where will um, Chairman Benny Fernando, where, where, where will he exactly be? You know, you know, every time I was mayor, I always got an engineer as my vice mayor or a professional. They would have a purpose. And he came over to me, he wanted to be present. I discussed this with him and I said, I think I have enough breath and depth. And he was humble enough to accept that. And I respect him for that. He's an engineer. You know why he's going to be the next president of the Philippines under my term? Because he's not going to be corrupt. Because I'm going to tell him, I want to build this export processing zone here. I want to build the Pagel Bay Canal if I do that. I want to build a new railroad, and if you def and if you design it wrongly, and there is corruption, you're not going to be president next time around. And he will know what to do. He will minimize the unnecessary expenses. He will design it properly. So he'll probably be DPWH, and he'll also be a roving guy <coughs> who will always be able to get to my ear and say, "A traffic door, and then the traffic and then don't go in nothing." Let's put more over, you know. Let's put more engineering. In our, in, our, in our agriculture, what do we need? Better ports and airports, or our ferry boats. You know, let's build our shipping industry. I was with the shipping industry yesterday, and you know the reaction there was fantabulous because I knew what I was talking about. I was talking about nice piers, good engineering schools, you know, and a retirement for all our 300,000 sailors when they leave the business of shipping. I'm not just thinking of the ship owner. I will protect the ship owner. If I allow you to modernize your fleet, I'm not going to marginalize you by allowing somebody who's poor to put up a bank of boat and risk other people there. I'm going to get that poor man and say, you can work in the ship. You can get a, a space in the ship, if you like. We can do that. But you got to care. You want to ask me what I think you should be? What I think all of you should be? I'll define it. First, you gotta be caring. You gotta care for your country, care for the common good. Second, you must be compassionate. You must always see that there are poor people here who need the kind of education that you have. Third, when you get the education, you must be able to finish the course, you must be competent. Fourth, while in school, I'll make you competitive at the level of LaSalle. I'll make you feel that you can debate with anybody in the world. So that when you get out, you will always look at competition and say, I can be better. Five, I want you to be united. Six, I want you to be liberal. Tolerant. I want you to be transformational, not transactional alone. I want you to build and dream that one day, like Hong Kong and Kowloon, they have an undersea railroad underneath, or an undersea highway, which was done 100 years ago. I want you to be a horizon chaser. I don't want you to be crawled, going like that before the, you, you know, I, I, I exaggerate on that. Because I see that, because that's why we are poor. We think we're lowly. We think we have no chance against the wealthy, against the mighty. And we're so used to that, because we had 300 years 
of colonialism. And you gotta break those walls of intramuros and the colonial masters. 